G'day Carbonites, Timmy Carbine back with another ARC quick tip and the topic of this video was suggested by Viper uh, thank you very much for the suggestion Viper he wants to know how to irrigate the industrial cooker so that's what we're going to be doing I've uh, just quickly thrown together a little hut to I don't know like simulate a base so I'll take you in. This is where I want the industrial cooker. So it's important to plan out where it's going to go. So I want it um, here, in between these two tiles. And the way I always place them is I put down uh, an intersection pipe first. Um, so I like to line up the piping with the right on the edge of the foundations. It just makes sure that the pipes, um, they'll run straight. Um, and that, that way you'll get nice, clean, tidy piping. All right, so I'm gonna put that middle piece that runs horizontal right underneath the wall there, hopefully, because it's really hard to see. But we're gonna go there, that looks pretty good. Let's get the industrial cooker out. So that's, that's not too bad. Before I place that, I'm going to test the piping. So, we know the industrial cooker is going to fit. Alright, so I want a straight pipe to come out here. That looks pretty good. And then I think I'll go inclined here. So that's fairly well hidden. That looks pretty good. Alright, let's go down here. Put the intake in. Yep, that looks pretty good. Okay, so it's important to note that the industrial cooker won't be irrigated uh, with water tanks. It needs an intake pipe. And I've tested it with like 50 uh, water tanks. It, it can't be done. It always has to be done with the um, intake pipe. So we've got the industrial cooker now down. It is irrigated. It says 1,000 out of 1,000, ready to go. Alright guys, that's going to do it for me. I hope you enjoyed this quick tip. If you did, smash the like button for me. It really helps me out. Don't forget to lead your targets, and I'll see you next time.